How you doing? I'm Tom Gilmet, and today I'm at the Boston Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm going to talk about panheads. I have spent the last 10 years covering Boston professional sports with Vinton panheads, and I swear by them. I had a visit from a friend from Vinton the other day, and, uh, and he gave me the opportunity to use a prototype panhead that has not been released to the public. It's going to be an improvement on the Vision 10 series of panheads. This is a uh, Vision 10 right here from uh, the TV truck that we work on, and uh, you can see it's been around the block. It's pretty beat up. And the design that we have uh, used, uh, as long as I've used Vinton, the, uh, the wedge plate goes right onto the top of the tripod and locks into place, and you adjust the balance of the camera by sliding the plate forward and back. And then once you get it into place, you take this knob and you tighten it down. And in order to remove it, this loosens, slide the plate back, you have to push this button in, and then you have to slide the plate off. Well, when, uh, when you're really you know, out, you're out in the field and you're trying to fumble with the pan head and getting this plate on here, it's not always that easy with a camera on here to find exactly how you gotta get that in there. It's just tricky to do it. Well, the new design on the prototype from Vinton uses a whole different slide plate design. It's on loan to me, so let me install it on the tripod and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now that the prototype has been mounted onto the sticks, you can see the new design. Instead of taking the plate and sliding it on to the top of the pan head, all you have to do is snap it in place. You can still make the adjustments and it still has the lock so that the camera can't slide off the tripod, but you can make your balance adjustment like, like so and then tighten this down and now you're plate is locked in place. And if you want to take it off, this loosens and you pull this slide plate back. You just take this pin right here, slide it forward, and it just lifts right off. This is a uh, Sony HTC 930. Take this camera, put it on the plate, lock it in place. Now that I have the camera mounted on the pan head, let's take a look at the friction and perfect balance controls. This is your panning friction. This is your tilt friction. There's your pan lock and tilt lock. And over here is the perfect balance control. And you can use this to dial in the weight of your camera for counterbalance. I used this prototype pan head the other day to shoot around Boston. I had a map box, a Sony EX-1, and a Lettuce Extreme mounted on this thing, and there was a lot of weight. And I was able to get perfect balance and control the entire time. I moved my entire kit outside the Boston Garden into the cold Boston air and shot around the Leonard Zakem Bridge. I wanted to see how this new prototype would stack up with other pan heads I've used from Vinton in the past, like the Vision 11 or the Vision 100. I was very impressed. Even with the camera tilted almost straight up in the air, I had perfect control over the starting and stopping of my pans and tilts. I then moved all of my gear underneath the Leonard Zakem Bridge. I performed this perfectly smooth left to right camera pan with precision, and I was so happy to see that the cold weather did not affect this prototype pan head. This pan head's rated for about 37 pounds, and I had about 25 pounds on it and it balanced very well. I also tested this pan head in extreme cold temperatures while shooting a documentary in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. The pan head worked perfectly at 15 below zero Fahrenheit and with the carbon fiber sticks, the setup was easy to move around in the deep snow. I found the new additions added to this pan head by Vinton quite helpful, like a small compartment that held extra wedge plate screws. For more information on Vinton Panheads and a lot of other cool TV stuff, check out my website at www.tomgilmet.com.